Morning and welcome back to today's morning report on Thursday the 10th of September with me Richard Perry Market Analyst at Handtech Markets. Let's move on to Euro Dollar and we've got this this move on Euro Dollar where we've <laughs> it's still really unconvincing for my money. Um we've had this sort of rebound where you had an intraday move yesterday where there was initial selling pressure coming through and then an a uh, rally into the close, which is fine, but I would argue still that this is pretty indecisive, pretty uninspiring um, from the bulls. And um, the fact is that the sellers seem to be waiting on the sidelines, ready to come back in. And what we've seen again today is a little bit of an open hire, but then the sellers coming back in. So I'm, I'm just really concerned that this is sort of building up to a bit of a, a bit of a sell-off, really. And um, you've got the momentum indicators, which are pretty much neutral, not really telling you anything on the RSI. MACD lines, fairly neutral. Stochastics, sort of flattening off, really. I mean, they're not positive in any way. So I'm not really um, not really looking at these momentum indicators thinking we're in for an, an imminent big rally higher to test that 1330 level, which was that key reaction high that we saw early September. But I just see these moment, these candles here with sort of quite long tails and short bodies and thinking, well, this is not great from the bull's perspective, I don't think. But anyway, maybe I'm sort of looking too much into it. But still, here we go with the recovery. This is the recovery over the past few days. Again, it's not really great in the context of where we've been um, in terms of the big sell-off. And you'd look at the momentum indicators and you'd say, well, the RSI continues to fall over at 70. It's not really getting too much uh, up, up, upside. You've seen even the MACD line is now crossing negatively. The stochastics have fallen over in the last few hours. Again, it looks like it's probably going to retrace back towards this sort of 11.55 level, maybe. Uh, 11.30 is obviously yesterday's low, so that is your initial sort of key near-term support. But... It just for me, it's just a little bit uninspiring, and I don't really, I'm not really trusting this as a rally, as a sustainable move. And I think you're going to get maybe a drift higher, but then you're going to get your selling uh, pressure coming through again. So there are going to be opportunities to trade this near term. I don't see that this is going to be, I don't see this is going to be a trending scenario here on the euro, um, and it's going to be choppy, and I think it's going to continue to do that. Um, yesterday's high at 12.44 came just around that 12.50 level which is sort of like a bit of a pivot level if you would on this chart so 12.50 is sort of like that initial line of resistance um, but again yeah looking at the RSI falling over at 70 again just generally the momentum on the hourly chart again sort of suggestive of fairly neutral conditions and uh, pretty rangy to be honest and um, that's the way I'm looking at it so Good luck in your trading on Euro today and I'll speak to you later. Thank you.